For anyone who got the message from eBay that it's time to connect eBay with Payoneer, do not worry because right now I'm going to show you step by step how I connected my Payoneer account to my eBay store when I got the message. So let's go ahead and begin and get right straight to the point. Here I got the email, Dear Liran, we're pleased to notify you that you can now register to have your payments managed by eBay. Managed payments is a big step towards making eBay simpler, more modern managed marketplace and so forth. Let's get you registered and they gave me a deadline to register by June 18th, 2021. Register by the deadline so that your account will stay active in other words. Let's get you registered. First, connect a Payoneer account, provide an existing account or create a new one. Sync your eBay and Payoneer profiles enter your credit card information and submit your registration information. So I already got all of this taken care of. I pre-recorded the process. So let's go ahead and see every step of the way. First thing that I did was I clicked register now. Of course, that link was in my email. And as soon as I clicked on the link in my email, I was taken to this page. And if you did not get the email by eBay yet, to register for paying your payments, then your time has still not come. It will probably come soon. So this will be the process. Get the email, click on the link to start now and you will be taken to this page. Do you have an existing Payoneer account for this person? So either you have an existing Payoneer account and if you don't have one, I'll leave a link right below this video so that you can register for your Payoneer account and get a $25 bonus as soon as you reach $1,000 in transferred funds and more reduced fees inside your Payoneer account using the link right below this video. In this case, I am a registered user on Payoneer, so I clicked on yes, sign in. Don't click on no create one, use the link once again below this video and then create your account. Then come back here and click yes, sign in that you do have an existing Payoneer account. Now you'll be prompted to log in to your Payoneer account. So enter your login information and sign in. Then you'll get this pop-up. You're on your way to receiving your payments from eBay via Payoneer. So go ahead and click on login. Over the next few weeks, you'll continue receiving your eBay payments as usual as we take you through the onboarding process for eBay sellers. During this time, you can continue using your Payoneer account to pay and get paid globally. So once you finish the verification process, that is not the end. Wait until eBay finally shakes hands with Payoneer and your account and they will connect you to Payoneer. Right now, we're just registering ahead of time so that when the time comes, our accounts won't be put on hold, they won't get blocked, and we'll move from PayPal to Payoneer smoothly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on login. And as you see here, eBay pulled all of my information from Payoneer and it's showing me my account information here, the owner details with my name, my address, my date of birth, my government ID, and everything else that I already submitted on Payoneer. Next, you have the credit card information. Here, eBay wants your credit card information, so when they charge you for your monthly invoice or any other charge that they want to charge you with, if they cannot charge you with the funds that you have on your Payoneer account, because if you don't have enough funds, for example, on your Payoneer account, they will want another backup payment method to charge you with. So I went ahead and filled in all of my information, my first name, my last name, my credit card details, my billing address, once you're done with all of that, click on continue. Then you'll have the submit request form. So here, just click on submit request. And what it's going to do here is simply take all of the information that you provided in the first four steps that we see here, and it will submit it to Payoneer. So as you see here, I got the message, you're on the list. You'll soon get to experience a new way to sell and get paid on eBay. Once we confirm your identity and business info, we'll email you and notify you in my eBay messages before activating your account for managed payments. When your account is activated, we'll automatically update all of your listings to reflect the different ways buyers can pay. Then you can enjoy all of the benefits that come with the managed payments. So this is the last step in this scenario. Now, when you log in to Payoneer for the first time, you may be asked to submit some identification info like a government issued ID. Submit all of the information that they want. It's usually really easy stuff. So the first step, of course, would be to register for your own Payoneer account and not use eBay's link. Once again, use the link below this video to enjoy benefits like getting $25 on your first $1,000 of transferring in your account and lower fees when transferring funds from PayPal to Payoneer. So if you want to enjoy those benefits, just use that link. That's the last time I'm going to say it in this video. And once you create your Payoneer account, go to your verification center, fill in whatever verification they want. And only after that, click on the link that you got from eBay's mail, which I showed you a couple minutes ago in this video and start the registration process. Now, once I did all of that, I got an email from Payoneer asking me to add more verification documents. Let me show you that email. We need additional information to proceed. So once again, step by step, First, I had an existing Payoneer account. Then I registered for the managed payments. Then I got this email 
to verify my information with Payoneer. So in this case, I already passed a verification with them a couple of years ago when I created this account by just showing them my government issued ID. Here they want more verification documents since we are talking about syncing between Payoneer and eBay, but it was really simple stuff. Let me show you. So here's my Payoneer account. What I'm going to do is hover over settings and click on the verification center. So that's the same as clicking on this link here in the mail where Payoneer told me that they want additional information to proceed. We're ready to start collecting the information and documents required for your eBay onboarding. So they got the message from eBay that I sent my info. We want more information, go to the verification center. And here at the verification center, you see that I have no open requirements because I filled in all of my verification requirements. But if I click on history, you can see what I have done in the past. So what I had to do was a couple of things. The first one was to edit my profile because my eBay account was a business account and my Pioneer account was a personal account. So it was harder to change the Pioneer's account from personal to business. You need to create a new account for that. And I already have my account set up. So I just went on eBay and I changed my account from business back to personal. It doesn't really make any difference. And then I was able to pass that verification. As you see here, it's approved. And the other one was a bank document. So that's what they actually wanted. They wanted me to send a bank documentation to show them that I am who I say I am, that my address matches the address that I have on my Pioneer account and on my eBay account, my name, of course. So I sent them what they asked for and I got approved on the same day. Now they may take a couple of days to approve your requests. Right now they're getting a whole bunch because of this whole transition. So be patient with them. They will get to your verification and they will approve you if of course you sent the right documents. And if you see here other things that are from one year ago and two years ago, it's not that relevant, these things under review. It's just more things that I tried on the verification, but I didn't really have to. So it just kind of got stuck there. I don't need it for anything, so don't worry about that. And the national ID, which I did tell you that I did a couple of years ago, June 2019. And today we're in the middle of June 2021. So it's been a couple of years since then. So that's all that was required from me. Once I got this verification, I got another email from eBay and it looked like this. Hi, Liran. Thanks for your patience and cooperation. We're happy to let you know that your Payoneer account is ready to start receiving eBay payments. eBay will let you know when to expect them. So as I said, you're submitting everything that's asked from you, everything that's requested ahead of time so that when the time comes, you know that everything will work smooth and you can continue with your dropship business. You may receive this email multiple times if you have multiple eBay stores and you register them too. Once you start receiving your eBay payments, they'll be deposited in your corresponding pay on your balance. And from there, you'll be able to withdraw funds to your bank account, pay your suppliers and more. Please know that we may ask you for additional information. They haven't done that. And I got this email more than two weeks ago. Today is June 17th. We can't wait to help you grow your global business. So right now I'm just a sitting duck, but I know that everything is fine. And I will show you guys once the account was successfully connected and how to work with Payoneer coming up. So I hope that this video helped you out, guys. Remember to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the updates that are coming out in the dropshipping world and so much more. Click that subscribe button, enable those notifications, and I'll see you in the future videos.